what's going on everybody sauce auxiliary here we're going to do a few videos going over the expert sleepers disting mk4 uh, we're not going to do deep overviews if you are searching about this module you know enough about it to know that it's pretty wild and definitely useful and everybody could use two in a rack so we're just going to go over a few of the uh, features that i tend to explore uh, in a few videos, we're not really gonna, like I said, go in depth. There's plenty of people on the internet that'll give you far better information that are far more well spoken than I am. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. So, this is an example of the disting um, using the voltage controlled delay in a multi voice patch. Uh, the patch might to some look a little complicated, but it's really just three voices I'm using. Oscillator 1, there's a MIDI track coming from Ableton. Oscillator 2, there's another MIDI track coming from Ableton that I'm uh, sending through an Arturia beat step down here. You might not be able to see it in camera. And then there is a uh, voice being controlled with rings and the architect. And I'm doing some modulation uh, here and there throughout. But it's not really a crazy patch. There's nothing too wild going on in here. So here's an example of all of those voices together. Okay, so now we're going to show you uh, just the voice by itself that the disting is affecting. Uh, this is just uh, oscillator one, uh, and it's pretty much just uh, it's normalized into this part of the mixer up here. And I just have the uh, mixer separated, so these two channels are going into the uh, variable low pass whatever filter. Um, it's a low pass right now being sent into the disting. Uh, the time is being modulated by. It's being uh, run through an attenu uh, attenuator right now, set up, and uh, it's being run off of a sequential switch right here. So there's multiple things affecting it, and I have stuff from uh, the life forms, the envelope, and the logic, and stuff happening from Batumi um, going into the sequential switch, and that's what's giving you the time uh, variance. And uh, feedback is being modulated by an attenuated uh, downward ramp from Batumi. So that's coming out right here. And uh, what's coming out of the sequential switch is over here. So it's being uh, attenuated as well. So it's not completely nuts. So this is just the voice by itself. Let me turn the mixer down here. This is a great mixer, by the way, if you don't know about it. We'll get a little crazier with it. So 
So this is just the dry sound. There aren't any external effects like there were on the full voice patch. All right, well, maybe we should try uh, messing it up a little bit. And I'm still learning, so it can be a little unpredictable for me at times. What's cool about this is the feedback is actually bipolar, so you can get all sorts of different kind of variants, and there's a little bit of aliasing going on in there. Not, it's not too crazy, but it, it's just enough, I think, to feed your filter something nice. You did a really good job with this. Um, they make really, really good stuff, and I can't really argue with, um, with, with really anything that they put out. They, you know. Okay, here. Maybe what we can do is uh, bypass the filter in this and kind of flip the patch around. Hey, how about that? What do you say we try a different filter here? I think the uh, bandpass is going to sound like. Might be a little harsh. Sorry, everybody. And I threw a little more effects in the mix on there. This isn't completely dry. But you are getting some very interesting textures to throw at any other type of effects that you want to mix with your modulator's output, that's for sure. Let's give it a little more to fuck with.
it's dope. You should definitely check one out if you have the space or plan on expanding. I would actually like to get uh, one more in uh, the next case that I get. I have uh, two more modules coming, and I'm, this one's going to be kind of full. I already got to take out some of the passive stuff. Um, but yeah, you should definitely check it out. We're going to do another video on the BitCrush, and I'm going to do a new video on the life forms because when I got it, it was... Uh, I understand what envelopes are, I understand LFOs and, you know, CV control and stuff at the time. I thought I did. Didn't know anything about logic or what the hell that was. I was just like, oh, cool, it's got an audio mixer on it, too. I can use that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, sam uh, you know, sample and holding an LFO. Um, but uh, in the last, however, a few months or whatever, I've ex expanded since those videos and I've learned a bit, a bit more how to use it. So we're going to do an updated video on that one, too, as well as uh, some others. So stay tuned.